Well, hello there. So I've disappeared for a while. I was busy at the beginning of the semester. Uh, it's a shortened semester, so it's a lot of stuff is condensed. Uh, and on top of that, I've been playing with um, getting certified again. So I've got another certification, uh, CompTIA Security Plus, trying to see how easy it would be for my students to do. So that was my goal uh, here. And it was, it was a good test. Um, so I'm gonna take you through a few things that I did to study. I'll just be really, I'll reference these down below. Uh, so make sure that you uh, look at those if you're interested. So first of all, I've been working in this area for quite a while. So I probably, um, I, I, I do things a little differently and all, than I actually did. So all I did was read a book um, and do the practice exams in the book. But I probably would have focused more on the pra practice exams. I also uh, watched uh, Professor Macer on YouTube. So. Uh, I'll link to, to the channel that I watched of his or his playlist. Um, but anyway, so first thing, make sure you download the exam objectives for any exam you're going to take. Uh, this is vital uh, getting through this. Uh, th and this is long. This is 24 pages. So it'll tell you about the exam. Uh, but what really starts to get in is the, the, the actual areas. Um, and it, it tells you right here tells you the percentage of the areas. Let me make this bigger for you. So it talks about the domain, the percentage, so you can go through. And some of the practice tests that you can take will actually um, tell you where you need to study because of how well or not so well you did on that area of the test. So uh, threat attacks, vulnerabilities. So uh, this area is pretty well defined. If you don't know what these are, make sure you look them up. You should be pretty familiar with most of these. Now realize it's okay to miss some. Uh, you have to get uh, 700 out of 900, I think. Um, so it's a little, a little below 80% to pass. So make sure you have a pretty good knowledge of at least, I would say 90% of it. Um, so that you if you just make a mistake. So uh, go through, there's there's a lot, but one of the things I want to mention, because this is a bit of a pain, if you come down to the end, you start to get the list of acronyms. If you get an acronym on the test and all the answers are acronyms, you might not even know what it's talking about if you don't know the acronym. So it is vital that you go through and you understand the acronyms. Uh, now, I was looking, and I was looking at it, someone else's sheet, and some of it, so for example, the acronym MAC is mandatory access control, but it's also machine addressable, um, the MAC address, um, and it's also something else. Um, but here, in the official one, it's only media access control, which is the MAC address. So I don't see where they have mandatory access control as a, an abbreviation. So there was, in one of the things I was looking at, there's a conflict where one thing could mean three different ones. But I, as I look back at this, that does not exist here. Um, but there's a lot of stuff here. And the there are pages. So one, two, three, four pages just of acronyms. Um, so make sure you understand what these acronyms are. So uh, once again, Professor Macer, there's books, study material, and free stuff on YouTube. Uh, it's good to go through. I would listen to this when I was doing other things. Uh, it would make my kids yell at me, telling me to get my earbuds and stuff in. Uh, but it's always fun to, to get the double benefit of harassing your kids while you're studying for an exam. Uh, this is the book that I uh, used to study, but I probably would have done the practice tests. Uh, if I would have thought about it. So uh, my next one, I might start with the practice tests and maybe not even read the book, um, but we'll go from there. But I am planning to do a couple more um, cert tests this year. So uh, hopefully we'll have a few more videos where they were successful. Uh, so far, I've got uh, three tests down um, and haven't uh, missed one yet. Two tests for the A plus this year, one test for security plus. These are entry level certs. I'm mostly getting them to see if I still uh, understand it well, but also to know how hard it would be for my students. So thank you.